Friends, do you suffer from unknown inductances, stray capacitances, or unruly resistances? If so, stay tuned. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to take a look at this, which says digital multimeter, but it's not really a digital multimeter. I mean, it is. It reads multiple things. But it is, in fact, the Proster LCR meter. This is a BM7040. And this was sent in by a fan of the channel. Oh, man. I apologize. I'm going to really kill your name. Marcin Walagorski? Marcin, thank you very much. I truly appreciate this. So, LC and R, capaci or, uh, inductance, capacitance, and resistance. Three common components you find in many electric circuits, but uh, in the older days, you had to have a specific LCR meter to test them. Modern, More modern meters even you know the cheapest ones will do capacitance very few do inductance so if you want to do induction you're still going to need an LCR type meter that's nice comes with a lot of nice stuff in here this is from Amazon again this is a Proster BM4070 it is a uh, three and a half digit meter with a uh, two percent actually and it has a nice rotatable screen so you can sit it on your desk be able to use it it also has a zero adjust and that's something that you don't find in a lot of regular multimeters I mean you might find a null button but you don't find a zero adjust so let me get some batteries in this we'll get out this nice little LCR standard and we'll have a look at it Okay, so included in the package is the meter, a set of alligator type clips for your leads, a set of leads, and a set of short leads, which are good for reading capacitors and inductors, because the longer your leads are, the more stray capacitance you have, or parasitic capacitance rather. So here's the manual. I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to show you. You can pause your screen. And take a look at it if you want to uh, go over some of this pertinent information. Now be aware that this type of meter is not for reading voltages. It is for reading inductance, capacitance, resistance, like that. So take an overall look at the meter. You can see we have our inductance ranges over here in Henry's, our capacitance ranges around the top in picofarads to microfarads, and our resistance ranges down here. Then again, we have our zero dial, our power switch, and this is a data hold button. So I've got my uh, LCR standard here. And these are my fluke measurements from the uh, bench top. My resistance measured 179.5 kilo ohms. Uh, the capacitor 59.77 nanofarads. And I didn't have a way to measure the inductions before. So from the company, it measures at 796.0 microhenries. All right, so. I got some cables here. Inductors are not polarized. Let's uh, bring this up so you guys can get a view of it. Power it on. And 796 micro Henry's. So we'll go to a 2000 micro Henry's. Reading zero. We'll plug this here in. Hmm. 
What's that supposed to be? 796 micro henrys? Oh, it's all micro fared, Paul. You're a dum dum. So if it's over range, we're supposed to get a one. Okay, so that's Millie Henry's. All right, good. Two Millie Henry's, seven ninety six, and it is reading point eight one five. Okay, not exactly on the money, but I have no idea what that would have read. I mean, they say they uh, measured on a Fluke PM three hundred six and an Agilent 34401A, 796. So, yeah, I mean, close enough. It's 19, what, Nano Henry's off? Rather, rather close. All right. Let's go and do resistance. So this is about 200K. That goes up 200, let's see. We'll put it on 200K and we'll plug her in. 179.5, 180.1, definitely close enough. And then we will do our capacitance test, which I read 59.77 nanofarad. So put that on 200 nanofarad. And it's reading zero, so I don't have to uh, hit the zero dial. So I got 59.77. Here we're getting 61.1. Very nice. Now it also comes with a set of these like four inch leads, which are great. I have a set of them. That's a little deformed, but no problem. That's just a plastic shield. I have a set of the little tiny leads that I leave on this uh, Zotac meter all the time. And they're excellent because they have uh, alligator clips. And you can just clip a resistor in there and check it real quick. So, what should we have a look at? How about an inductor? Here is 7.24 micro henry let's see if we can zoom in on that won't focus there we go oh no that says 24 micro henry's man am i oh no yeah 7.24 micro henry that's what i thought i'm blind as a bat what can i say so 7.24 micro henry's there's 200 micro henry's Clipper on there. Seven point two four and it reads seven point nine. Yeah, that's uh, no problem at all. Now, just to show you that there's always variance, here is another seven point two four from the same batch. Yeah, actually read seven point nine reads the same. <laughs> if this were has more digits, you would see a difference in them. Nothing ever reads exactly what it's supposed to read, is my point. Alright, how about some capacitors? Here is four hundred and seventy microfarad. So four seventy microfarad. <laughs> Guess we'll go to 2000. And this is polarized. You can see the white stripe. Core 70 reads 425. We can hit our data hold, take it off, and it stays. Very nice. So, how big will this read? 2,000 microfarad. Let's see. What do we got in the big box? 
10,000. That should read over the limit. Let me make sure this is discharged first of all. You're not to put any uh, any voltage into the inputs that could destroy these. These are made strictly for reading passive components. So this should probably give us like a 1. Yeah, see it's over the top. 2000 is the biggest it'll read. Let's see what else Paul we got in the box. Here's a nice uh, Sprague Atom 8 microfarad. And 8 microfarad. We can go down here to 20. Again, this is a polarized cap, so we want to be careful. 8 microfarad reading in at 7.73. Very nice indeed. Now, down here, it also has some slots that we can use. So, what we have here is 100 microfarad. Straighten out these legs a little bit. Should be able to put that down in there. That is sweet. I love that. Look at that. And that'll work for any of these. Like, here's a resistor. What to do? What's this? 100. Can't quite see. Oh. What we got there? Brown, black, gold. 10K, I believe. Uh, resistance. 20K. Plug her in there. Oh, come on, get in there. Yeah, 9.81. No worries. So that is a really decent little LCR meter. I'm not going to open it up. There's no reason to. I mean, like again, they're not going to put any voltage into this. So there's no reason to see how it's put together. But I think it's pretty cool. And the price is not bad. It is um, on Amazon right now for $33.55. Again, this was a kind gift to me from Marcin, Marcin. And I want to thank you again. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. You're going to see this in more videos. Put a link to it down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.